Happy Monday and Happy New Year. Denise Boyd here and today's Motivational Mondays post is entitled New Year, New You. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, the New Year's resolutions always seem like they never work out. If you're like me, you're probably tired of hearing people say, New Year, New Me. Because by January 31st, most of the New Year, New Me crew have already gone back to their old selves. So my guess is that we don't really give thought to what a resolution really is, a firm decision to do or not do something. So honestly speaking, most people think of resolutions as wishes instead of truly making a firm decision and putting plans into place that support their resolution. So I like to use the word change when referring to resolutions because Change is the result of a true resolution. And if a true resolution is not made, there will be no change. And in essence, what started as a resolution is now a wish and probably a wish that will be repeated when the next year arrives. So if I'm completely honest, I was one of those people. I always found myself back to where I started, no matter how bad I wanted to see change in the new year. But as a busy mom, I know how hard it can be to commit to change, but I also know that it can be harder for us if we don't commit to a positive change in our lives. And yes, you can create the new you in this new year. But my suggestion, stop making New Year's resolutions slash wishes and decide what truly matters in your life before making changes, i.e. resolutions. So what do you do instead of New Year resolutions? So first, determine where you are currently in life. So here are some questions that I asked myself to get a clear picture of my current reality. And these would be good questions for you to ask yourself. So first, where do I work? Where do I live? How much do I make? How do I rate my physical and mental health? What occupies my time? What are my biggest stressors? Have I met my past goals? What are my hobbies? What do I do for fun? Where do I shop? Who do I hang out with? What do I spend money on? What do I eat? And last but not least, what activities do I engage in on a regular basis? Now, feel free to add your own questions to give it more personalization. Second, determine what you want your life to be like in the future. The best way to do that is to daydream and take notes about what you would want your life to look like in six months, a year, in five years, in 10 years, etc. The key to this is to not think about what you want your life to be like based on your current reality, because if you allow your current reality to control your future, you will never get too far from your current reality. So live a little and daydream. So to complete this task, I want you to ask yourself the same questions from the questions in the first task, okay? But with your future wants in mind. Now, next, it is important to decide what resolutions you want to make to achieve the goals that you want to become because you become your goals. Now, keep in mind that it is ill-advised to make more than two changes at one time. So pick one to two resolutions to work on and write them down. I suggest writing the goal in present tense as if you have already achieved it. And once you write your goals down, it is important to make a plan. And because we are creatures of habit and often revert to our old norms, it is important that you purposely plan your day based on your resolutions every single day. Creating this discipline of a daily plan will over time help you change those bad habits that have caused the reality that you've been living in but don't get angry if you have a few slip-ups just go back to the plan and readjust as needed just don't readjust it to the point where 
your plans cancel out your goals. Now, I highly suggest having an accountability partner or mentor. Just be sure that your accountability partner or mentor is someone who is or has been where you're trying to go. And be sure that you are open to their suggestions because just like closed mouths can't be fed, closed minds cannot be transformed. But look, I know you're ready for this transformation because you are here watching this. So my challenge to you this week is to complete the task that I talked about earlier, honestly, and to find an accountability partner. If you cannot, find one in a book or a video. But whatever you do, do not give up on yourself. Everyone else around you can give up on you. But your demise is only certain if you give up on you. Now, choose the pain of discipline now so that you won't have to deal with the pain of regret later. So here's to the new you this year. And as usual, thanks so much for watching. And until next time, stay peaceful, positive, and productive.